you guitar players who might also buy a microphone. Actually, Sophia bought a Lewitt because I said, buy a Lewitt. She's like, what mic do I need? I said, Lewitt. She bought a Lewitt. That's how easy it is. So I'm all technically that we have to say, tell them to buy a Lewitt. Tell them. Yeah, great sounding microphones. No, just tell them to buy it. Don't even tell them why. Pardon me? Just tell them buy a Lewitt. Yeah, buy, buy a Lewitt. Buy a Lewitt, please. <laughs> See, video done. Well, we abandoned our trusty, I got to say this, Sennheiser AVX Wireless, which is, you know, my NAM mic because it's wireless and Lewitt doesn't have anything wireless, for the very good Lewitt interviewer, inter Harry interviewer. But, you know, we need a cable, so we are tethered. That's a really good mic because it's omni in that and you can put it right in the middle and it works. Right. Except at NAM because I, we would have to be kind of like this close, right? Very close to each yeah. other. You don't want to do, hello, how are, you? how are you doing? It's going to be difficult. Yeah. So let's not do the Omni thing. We really, really have to get this in each other's grill. But Nam is a very, very special kind of place, right? Yeah, pretty noisy, especially here in this hall. It's a horrible place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do is, I thought, let's go through a couple of Lewitt mics and see what happens because that's a stupid ass idea. And that's what we do. So that's what we do it. Get it? See what I did there? <laughs> uh, so um, these are actually really interesting because these are like uh, mics for like a podium thing. I. Uh, I never actually um, tried one of these, so... Yeah, these condenser mics, carded characteristic. So they're condensers, so hold this. I'm gonna plug this in and then turn on the phantom power. Valerie, can you take this? The lovely Valerie is taking the mic. And now technically, do we have level, Harry? And we have level. This is a solid base, I like it. And then you get it with different length Schwanhals. Yeah. Kuzneck. Yeah. yeah. Wait, they can't yeah, hear you. Yeah, yes. Okay, so they have no idea what you're saying. Blah, 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 so blah, I'm blah, completely blah. in control. <laughs> yeah, so different kinds of Kuzneck microphones are available for this you very rugged so bass. <laughs> I love you so much. So, moving on, uh, I'm going to take this out. We are now in an MTP 350 CM. I don't know what this is. Is this dynamic? Is this condenser? That's a condenser microphone. Which is why it's working because the phantom power is on. So let's upgrade to an 840. That's a big jump. Let's, let's jump, huh? Yes, that's a dynamic microphone though. What if the phantom power is on? Is it going to be a problem? No problem at all. Okay, we leave it on. 840. Are you hearing a difference? I have no idea. Are you hearing a difference? No, because I only hear you. What difference should they be hearing? Well, this is a more, um, most likely not, not so much uh, level because it's a dynamic microphone. Then again, it's more uh, rugged. It's not so uh, uh, sensitive to plosives and wind. <laughs> hey, you said it. Yeah. You said it's rugged, right? Yeah, it is. Can you people still hear me? Is there still level? <laughs> yeah, there's supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, uh, what's the price point on this? Uh, that is, I think, 279 It's pretty awesome. Okay, moving on to more. This is the 740, which I have two of, I think. That's a um, condenser. Yeah, it's a true condenser, large diaphragm microphone and this literally only works when you're very close to it it kind of like rejects everything that's not close to it correct mm -hmm. yeah it's it sort of does so if i'm here and i'm talking 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 at some point gabriel don't turn around come here and hug a man hello hello say hello again hello okay now you can go 
You look like a penis, but you're not a dick. <laughs> and that's why we love Lewitt. Big supporter of 42 at Gear Street. And also, the trip, they paid, I don't know why, for Harry and me to be here. And uh, all their logos at the front of every video. And, you know, we make a video. But is that worth any money? I have no idea. Yeah, me neither. Uh, probably not. I love this mic because when you're a singer, the band is blasting. It really doesn't pick up a lot of the band. It, yeah. it, it really rejects it almost rejects. It rejects almost everything that's not right here. And I learned that the hard way in my live streams when I was trying to do this like a reporter mic. Because right here, there, isn't, pick up. there isn't really a lot of level. Here, that's where the level is. Killer mic for bands. Don't use it as a reporter mic. So moving on. The numbers go up, the prices go up, and it still looks the same. What is this? This is MTP 250. So it's our, is it? Oh no, this is MTP 940. Yeah. He has literally no idea. <laughs> Why I'm supposed to have an idea? Really? No. <laughs> I'm clueless, apparently you're clueless. We make a good pair. So what's special about this? Uh, it's so to say the bigger brother of the MTB 740 you had just now and it's also a true condenser capsule and it has um, three different polar patterns so you can switch it to broad cardio. Well, for, in order to do that we need to make a little bit of noise right now. So up here you have recessed switches and there you can set it to broad cardio, cardio or super cardio. And it shows you with these lights Yes, indeed it does. Tiny, tiny, tiny lights. This is cool because you can't accidentally switch it. No. Great, I've never seen this. What a great idea. Smart people in Le Austria, as they say, in Hungary. Moving on. This, uh, Gabriel is saying it'll pop like hell. Okay, well, there's the 340, the 140, and the very, very tiny 040. If you want to see everything you need to know about this, watch my video where there's even pan flute in it. So, we're not talking about this. We're talking into this. Moving on. Now, the very affordable and available in white 240 Pro. Yes, and black as well. What a great mic for, what, 150 bucks or something? Yes, right. So that capsule is not the one that's in the MTP 440. It's a smaller capsule or a cheaper. No, and, and actually this is a condenser back electrode capsule and has superb trends and responses. An ideal microphone if you want to upgrade um, your podcasting uh, setup, for example. But it also gets widely used on stages for cymbals or um, guitar. Acoust or acoustic guitar probably. Acoustic guitar. Two overheads and it runs you 300 bucks. Correct, yeah. But of course, you could also get a pair of, you know, 040s for like 200 bucks or 180. Correct, 189, yeah. You could actually get any of these and you'd be happy. So um, that's the black one. We don't need to plug that one in. And that's then the 440, right? Going up to the 440 at 249. Still no polar patterns, none of that shit. Simple mic, cardioid. Uh, but it looks like a larger diaphragm. Correct, it has a larger diaphragm, true condenser microphone, cardio pattern, and... And it's the same diaphragm that we have in the 640, right? Yes, correct. So what we did is actually, we took the key technologies from our flagship models and put it in a very condensed and affordable package. So um, it's a really great value microphone. You get extraordinary sound uh, in a very rugged, compact enclosure. I think that's what Sophia... Hey, Sophia, you bought the 440, right? How you like it? We get a thumbs up from Sophia. Moving on. We don't want any of the crap behind us, so I've turned it on this one. So there we have the same idea of the 440. See, what, what you actually could do is you could you could uh, reverse the polar pattern and this way 
our guests in the camera can see what you're doing, right? So now we have a super card antenna towards the back of the microphone. Almost as if you are smart. <laughs> Almost. Um, so that's the 440 but the polar panels. Correct, yes. And it's got the 441 flex. How much is this? Uh, that's us for 399. Not that much more than that. I mean, it's 150 bucks more, but it gives you a lot more. Correct, yeah. Eight, up to eight pedals. Okay, okay. Nice. And uh, what we forgot about the 440, you know, awesome shock mount, magnetic filter thing. And it comes in a case. Wait, does the 440 come in a case? No. Hardware box. But this one comes in a case. Um, no, I'm afraid not. Also, hardware box. Okay, fine. I can show you one that comes in a case. Let's go to that one. That's the 640, right? Uh, 540 Sub Zero 2. How many Lewitt mics are there? Um, they're almost two. Okay, let's go. So, I can see there's a low-pass filter and a pad, but no polar patterns. Correct, because it's a carded, fixed carded true condenser capsule in there. Is that more money? Uh, yes, indeed it is. A little bit more. I think it's uh, 599 So how is it better than the 441 Flex? Well, this is one of our flagship products, and what we did is basically we uh, honed and fine-tuned the circuit as much as possible in order to achieve the quietest uh, microphone in the market, so the lowest self-noise. In fact, lower than the human hearing threshold. So it's it's one of our true flagships. For under 600 bucks, what's not to like? Let's go to this, but with polar patterns. I'm cutting everything at 80, and I have a hyper thing, which makes sense for here. So that thing is brilliant because it's not just polar patterns, pad, and low pass filter. Any for low pass filter. Get it? No. no? Low cut. Oh, come on, but Jennifer low pass is so much funnier than Jennifer low cut. <laughs> You messed up the joke, damn it. Um, but it actually has a second mini XLR out and it comes with an adapter. And that means you can record both of them in stereo and then use their software as a VST plugin apparently, yeah? Yes. Uh, to change the um, polar pattern later. Right, after the recording. So you could start on an acoustic recording in cardioid and then actually automate it to go to Omni if you want that. Yes, that's true. And it also uh, provides you with the ability to record in perfect stereo with actually one capsule. Pretty neat. I love this thing. It's, what, $8.99? $8.99. Yeah. Almost as if I know stuff. Uh, but, but there's another one. Yeah, one more and then the new one. One more and then the new one. We have to be kind of here because this thing needs its own power supply so we can't, you know, do it with a camera. This is the 940 LCT 940. And uh, I've been recording Campaign Like Clockwork in all of our sessions with this and we love it. You know, it's not cheap, it's like 16 something. Yeah. But for what it does, it's actually, you know, very reasonable. It's a tube mic that you can uh, also use as a FET, as a transistor, and you can pick whatever you want and go seamlessly from one to the other. Big ass um, shock mount comes with, you know, this box down here. Power supply. The power supply. It's a great mic, and I have a blue bottle, which is an amazing microphone. But we're recording the whole album with this because it just does the job, and it's, you know, 
It's a great mic for the money, but you're going one further. You're going one more ridiculous step, right? Yes, indeed. indeed. Which we can't hear. Yeah, but we can have a look at it. So now we need the reporter back, please. Thank you, beautiful Valerie. So here we have the Project 1040, so it's not done. No, it's not done yet. It's actually literally 10 years in the making. So it started when we founded our company with the idea to create the ultimate microphone system. A product that provides the best sound for any possible sound source, while at the same time revolutionizes your recording workflow. And in the beginning, we started off with an intense dialogue with friends from the audio community. And what we would hear very often is, ah, I have this special sounding microphone and it works best with that and that kind of application. Well, so we came to the point that when building the ultimate microphone system, we need to make sure that it fulfills all these different notions of what a great sounding microphone can be, right? So next step was to think about what technology to use. And we ended up with tube technology because it gives you the greatest flexibility. You can imagine if you think about a glowing tube, maybe you are thinking about a warm, saturated, or maybe even dark sound, yet your friend is thinking about a hi-fi-like clean sound. And all of that are uh, valid uh, sound characteristics for tube sound, right? And therefore, the ultimate microphone system needs to provide this as well. So after countless of prototypes, we settled for four distinct all analog tube characteristics and that is clear, warm, saturated and dark. And he wanted to be absolutely sure that we are on the right path and that's why we put this to the test in a sound preference survey with more than... Which I participated in. Cool, so you are one of 2,500, more than 2,500 participants, which was really cool that we had such a great support and it basically confirmed that we are on the right path. So the promise of the ultimate microphone system is that it will be super easy to dial in the perfect sound, no matter what application, whether it's uh, powerful rock vocals or a smooth jazz singer, from a fine violin to a screaming guitar, it will be super easy to find the perfect sound, no matter what sound source. And you will have four distinct all analog tube characteristics available, plus one FET circuit for the most accurate signal from the one inch true condenser capsule. And you can seamlessly blend the FET circuit with these four tube characteristics. You will also have two outputs, one for uh, the FET and the other one for the mixed signal, the hybrid between FET and tube, depending on what you dialed in. Now, let me ask you a question. With all this sound, options available. How would you like to manage them? How you would you like to control them? Well, you could ask the musician to turn the knobs in the recording room. Probably not the best option. No, no, it isn't. Because when I'm, when I'm saying, Rafa, can you please turn that from, you know, that to that, he's like, what? Where? On what? On that box on the floor. Huh? What box? <laughs> yeah, annoying. Yes, so second best option, maybe leave your desk in the monitoring room, go over to the recording room. That makes zero sense. Yeah, because you cannot monitor what you are doing, right? Yeah. So we provide and you will have a remote control on your uh, studio desk, allowing you to dial in the perfect sound while you are able to monitor it and without interrupting the session. That's awesome. And that comes with a package that's standard? That's standard. This is all included in the package. And actually, we are now at a point of taking Project 1040 to the next level. So we brought 3D printed prototypes with us, the latest ones, to put them to a real life test. And we will travel and tour various studios and sound engineers from all over the world will test and evaluate the ultimate microphone system, give us their feedback, and this we will use in order to make it even better. And you can participate too in this effort and render your opinion sign up for a day beta test, look at our website, follow our social media channels. And if you care, you become a beta tester and this way you can make yourself heard in this very significant fine tuning phase of Project 1040. That's so awesome. It all, stuff always just gets better when you guys are involved and when you know more people just, why make microphones that only you like? You want to sell these, make the microphones that the people out there want.
Yes, so what we always do when we develop a product, we always ask us the very same question. And that is what can the microphone do or what does it need to do in order to make your sound and your overall recording experience better. And it's so much easier from us when we start right from scratch with musicians and audio engineers on board because we really want to learn about the pain points and what we need to do in, in order to make this product successful and really make you want this product. That's something to look forward to. This is not going to be inexpensive. No, it's our new flagship product. I will say though, it will not have a boutique-ish price point. Okay. Um, and yeah, if you want, we can have a quick look on our 3D printed prototypes. Okay, let's do that quickly because we're running out of battery. Here is the 3D printed prototype of the Ultimate Microphone. It's actually a dual capsules. Um, ah, this is not it. Almost, almost, HP. So here we have our um, microphone. Um, we are currently still discussing and debating what tube we want to use. So there's a 12AX7 uh, as well as a uh, 12AY7. And we are about, as I said, to fine tune various characteristics of, the f of these four tube circuits in there. Here's the power supply. Again, FET output, mix output, microphone output. And here we connect via a 3-pin XLR cable to, our, to the remote control that allows you to dial in your perfect sound right from the speed spot. So four characteristics, clear, warm, saturated and dark. Here you can blend, seamlessly blend between FET and tube circuits. We have high quality filters, pads, as well as seamless polar pattern control. Well, that's something to look forward to and to participate in if you know you have an opinion on it. Comment, go to Lewitt, you know, sign up for beta tester thing. That's a great idea. Way to go. I think we kind of covered literally almost everything here. And now we're gonna go and have something to eat and get another battery and do more NAM craziness. We'd like to go home, but we can't because you not so want the videos. What can I do? It's how I make my money. Hey, thanks, Lewitt. Thanks for supporting the trip. Thank you, Ashby. Battery, come in, hugs. Valerie is so sweet. <laughs> Say hi to the nice people. Hi. And um, thanks, Luke, for supporting the trip. Check them out if you can. It's worth it. And uh, something about at the end. What's at the end? You don't know. Animals at the end. Oh. Oh. <laughs> A fan. <I> <laughs> Thank you.